is one double-double away from number 70 in his storied Carolina career. Lehigh controls the opening tip. Officials this afternoon, Ron Gruber, Doug Sermons, and Lee Cassell. Pretty much any position on the court. A lot like Leaky Black, but more versatile offensively. Yeah, I think that's the key thing for the spacing. We talked about the daytime as we take a look. And he's a guy that can fill it up. That's going to be key for North Carolina. They don't want to let him get it going early in this game. The answer at the other end by Ingram on cue. And again, great spacing. Uh, Lehigh right now, not doubling. Again, whether it's they love has since transferred out. And again, Cadeau being that pass first point guard. None of the coaches, none of the players are going to say guys want to play with somebody who's going to share the ball. Yeah, and again, that's really his strength, his passing ability, setting his teammates up. I think that's going to be key as this season progresses. Rivers, the Louisville transfer, shows you what he can do. Guarding Whitlock. Higgins has seven for Lehigh. Chemahar, no good on the three. Baycott back in there, grabs the rebound. Inside to Withers. Out to Cadeau. Inside the arc, and he hits his first field goal. In an exhibition game. And more on the stitches of Thor Rogan. Cooper Davis said, that's something that's never, he's never experienced uh, as a player. And you take a look at it. Two by the freshman, Cadeau. Carolyn brings Baycott out to the perimeter. Shot clock again in single digits. A long three, no good by Whitlock. Cadell quickly up ahead to Ryan. Down low, Baycott, great position. Gets his follow, and one. Right to Baycott coming down, and that's another area that Baycott does a great job running to the rim. Good defense by Ryan. Tan using his body too strong. Ryan grabs the board. Third stop for Cormac Ryan. Started at Stanford, then Notre Dame, now UNC. Baycott spins inside. Tan falls down. Count the basket. To go single coverage right here. They stay home because of the spacing. Excellent for North Carolina. And or before that Lehigh Duke game was North Carolina. And you know the history between Carolina and Duke. So when Lehigh started hanging with Duke and an upset looked probable. All these fans wearing Carolina blue turned into Lehigh fans. And what Reed said, those fans turned back into a home game for Lehigh. Reed said, hey, anytime you're back in town, I got you for a sandwich. <laughs> we got to get a steak with that one. It's got to be a steak. Cormac Ryan knocks down the three. He's got four. Here comes Carolyn. Shot clock again. Down to two. They got to shoot it. Higgins does and hits. Well, Higgins has come as advertised. Cormac uh, Ryan, a pretty good defender. That's a contested deep three shot clock winding down. You're not familiar with the Patriot League. They got some pretty good teams, and, and he's a guy that's going to contend and be in the discussion all year long for player of the year. Shot clock winding down, and he can go get you a bucket. Carolyn's done a pretty good job. Again, he's, uh, I think, been pretty under control, but uh, this area right here for Lehigh has been a problem. Ingram swoops to the bucket. This is Joshua Ingram, played at St. Joe's High School in Metuchen, New Jersey. Pretty good alumni list there. A dozen for Higgins. And Armando inside. Against Parolin, no double. And that's a dozen to go along with a dozen boards. Final seconds, first half. Trimble in the passing lane. Higgins gets it back. Got to put it up. Higgins in traffic. And it counts. The opening half, he leads all scores. And he beats the buzzer. And Lehigh trims the deck. Or Lehigh. Jalen Sinclair went over the 100 assist mark last time out. Parolin, front rim, rebound at number 14 for Baycott. Davis falling away. Davis jumps up. 
He's got 15 with a chance to make it 16. Just clear it out. Let him go to work. Nice little jump stop. Let him fly by and one. And statistically, the best in the history of Carolina basketball. Ryan rips the rebound away from the 6'8", 280-pound tan. Ingram from the baseline, rebounded by Higgins. Sydney has been quiet today. Just the presence of Baycott made that shot so much tougher, even though it went in. I'm not sure how he got that one. Degree of difficulty off the chart. That was high up off the glass with his left hand. You want to give him some rest. Uh, the production that he gives him off the bench is going to be huge uh, for the Carolina season. Whitney Sydney knocks it down. That's a three. He's got five. Carolina turns it over. Shot clock at 10. Puts it on the floor. Now Higgins. Falling away. Does not go. Offensive rebound was there. Perlin lost it. Davis pushes. Davis down the lane. Kick out Cadeau. Baycott down low. No double. Baycott against Perlin. Yes, the friendly roll. Hondo Baycott had a double-double in the first half. One of the more dominant players in college basketball right there going to work, putting North Carolina up seven. Whitney Sidney cleaves down the lane, tipped to Cadeau, the freshman. A, a better version of what he was last year. I would not be surprised to see him have a double-double in every North Carolina game that he plays in. R.J. Davis using the screen from Baycott, shoots over Whitlock. R.J. Davis with 20 points. Credit for the two, but he said Baycott set some of the best screens, and that right there was an example of one of them. He freed up R.J. Davis to have a clean look off that pick and roll. Cadeau. Through the contact. He's got seven. Puts an end to a 9-0 UNC run. Harrison Ingram against Joshua Ingram. And it's Harrison who wins the namesake battle. And that's been a strength for them. Right now, they've dominated the paint. 28 point paint, paint uh, points for North Carolina. Only 12 for Lehigh. Seth Trimble and Jalen Washington. A couple of sophomore holdovers out there. And Harrison Ingram. Hit the corner three. He's got a dozen to go along with six boards. As they get deeper into the schedule, we already talked about their non-conference slate, one of the toughest in college basketball. Working on a much smaller Gillis. Offensive rebound. Baycott with the putback. So that's 20 points. I mean, it just... To think about that, I mean, it's just almost like you expect it when he gets out there. He's just going to get a double-double. And I don't mean this to diminish his accomplishments, but... No, it really doesn't. Exclamation. And that's a beautiful post-entry pass by R.J. Davis. And this is all set up. Look at the post-entry pass. That's a beautiful angle by R.J. I'm not sure that ball hit the floor. Play. And none better here. Press break. Ball never touches the ground. You coaches, take note. Cormac Ryan with the finish. Ball never touched the ground. Three passes and then a dunk by Cormac Ryan. You cannot do it any better. Whitney, Sydney, the corner three. Knocked out of bounds. Tony Bennett's kind of the elder statesman now in this league, but there is a... Power vacuum amongst the coaching fraternity when you lose those kind of heavyweights. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, when you think about it, too, we talked with Peter about this as Lehigh knocks down another three. You throw that in there, I think it's remarkable what Hubert Davis has done. Uh, his first year, as you take a look at North Carolina with some really good ball movement again.
promise from the coaches that you're going to get into a game. So when you get a chance to get them in there, uh, both coaches pleased uh, with being able to do so. Lehigh made it interesting for a little while in the second half.